Hello, 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 testing, testing, one, two, three. I'm using a new uh, recording app, I guess. I'm not using the uh, Xbox game bar anymore. This is going to be a test. I don't know if it's going to work or not. It's been a while since I've made a YouTube video. Uh, you might hear a lot of things going on in the background. But, uh, Right now, I'm going to actually touch on some things some people asked me to touch on. Uh, I know some people a while ago, and I'm sorry for a, you know such a late update, but a while ago, some people asked me, how do you install mods? And I'm going to do that right now, teach people how to install mods, and what to do in the editor. Maybe I'll go over to the editor tutorial. I learned a lot of this stuff personally from uh, Mighty Mapper 123 or not Mighty Mapper 123, uh, but Mighty Mapper 123's pretty cool too. Um, 123 Stealth Bomber. Both of them have 123 in their name, so I got confused. Uh, but anyway, so if you want to download mods, I'm sure most of you know this, you go to the workshop. And the workshop is the easiest way to do this. You know, you choose the mod you want, you press subscribe, and it will automatically start downloading. I'm not going to install anything, because I actually have um, everything I want. But, you know, for example here, if I wanted Call of Duty, I click on it and go over here, plus subscribe, but I'm already subscribed, and that will start downloading. You'll see it downloads, like, you'll see something say download right here. Uh, but next, I'm going to open the uh, game, and from there I'll show you guys what it looks like and what you guys have to do next. It's been a while since I've made a video. I hope this works. And loading multiplayer resources. But anyway, um, if anyone out there is like a really huge Star Wars fan or anything like that, I am too. You want to ask questions or you know want to talk about anything or have video ideas? I'm really sorry about this late, super, super duper late upload. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, now it's loaded. Uh, you guys can see that I have a Army Men of War loaded up from uh, Mighty Mapper123. I actually asked him and asked permission to use his mod, and yeah. So, anyway. Uh, but this one, I believe, you can find free on his website. But, anyway. So, if you want to basically activate whatever mod you downloaded basically any mods you download on the workshop page should show up here in the uh, deactivated in the mods folder over here you just click option and boom and all you have to do is basically click on them and press uh, this little arrow right here and put them over the activated side I'll show you guys right now with the army man of war so I'll basically click on it press apply it's gonna take a little bit Oh wait, I basically added it back. Let me remove it. There you go, see? Now it's not activated anymore. Now say I wanted Army in a War for supply. And... Come on, bam! There you go, see? That's all it takes. All there is to it. Um, after that, you know, you're done. You're ready to go. You're ready to play. Um, I'm going to exit, and I'm going to head over to the uh, editor here. So just click play, and boom, click editor. And I'm going to head over to the editor. Um, doing this with Call to Arms, or CTA, is a little bit different. It's not too complicated, but it's similar, it's just with call to arms because call to arms is constantly updating the game is a uh, very different so or not very different but the uh, mod folder is located somewhere else so you kinda gotta go search for it uh, I'm gonna just press green territory and look this is the uh, this is the editor so if you guys are you know I'm gonna go into this I'll stop talking about call to arms but uh, 
So in order to like load up maps, this is a pre-made map already by Matt, Mighty Mapper 123. All you have to do is uh, press F3. You know, you go, or you press F2. I mean, click up here where you know it says maps, and you press load. And you see all these various things. It's basically just different maps that are already ready to go, already made. And if you make any maps, they'll also be loaded here. Uh, I used to have a couple maps that I made on my own on my old computer, but this is a new computer, so none of them are here. But anyway, and that's how you load up the maps. You just press load after that, and boom. And what I'm sure maybe a lot of people are wondering is how do you do, uh, you know, custom battles and stuff like that? Because that's what I personally love to. Um, first, I'm going to add a uh, background so there's less lag, a little fog, boom. Mighty Mapper make these maps, like, or Mighty Mapper wants to make these maps really big and awesome, but they do tend to be a little laggy sometimes, I find. Um, but anyway, you see now, map is loaded, there's a little fog, it also, you know, reduces the lag. And from there, let's say, you know, we want to, uh, and in order to add the fog background, just press F6, and that's where, you know, you can choose one. You can make it day or night. It doesn't matter. Now I'm going to head over here to, uh, you know, where all these various things, these are the various entities you can spawn from, you know, trees to vehicles to soldiers, you name it. Um, but uh, here, basically, you're going to spawn, let's say, some riflemen, some blue riflemen, and we'll spawn a bunch. I'm gonna copy and paste them so there's more. And bam. And all you really have to do to make them fight other army men or I mean other enemies is just make sure they're on two different teams. So these guys are set to player zero. And let's get the opposite of blue, red. Let's get some red army men over here. PSHs. These are uh, Soviet, basically. They're based on Soviets. And we're going to make them play red. Or, uh, excuse me. We're gonna, that was my mouth. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to make them player one. And all we have to do is press start. Uh, right now, they're actually out of range of each other, so they can't see each other, but uh, all we have to do is really just move them a little bit. And once they come into range with each other, they'll start shooting at each other. And you'll have a little battle in bold. You don't have to do anything. That's the easiest way I know to set up battles. Uh, I don't know who can do it. I added a lot of SMGs for the red team. But it looks like these are blue guys are actually doing some dips. Do some work. Anyway, that is how they custom battles. But uh, there is more to it, believe it or not, besides just this. Oh, one guy left. Come on. Oh, two guys left. Fight. Fight to the last man. Fight. Oh, he's dead. Alright. First finish. That basically just restarts everything. And bam. You have custom battles. That's really simple. That's, you know, the tutorial. Um. But let's say you know we want some vehicles. Let's go get some vehicles. You know, just look for a vehicle. Uh, these vehicles are actually located elsewhere. So I'm gonna spawn a let's say a, a T-34 because that's my favorite Soviet tank besides a KV-6 or a T-62. But anyway, there you go, a T-34. And we're going to spawn some extra riflemen to crew this thing. 
Right, right now I have it set in yellow to me. And all you have to do is, yeah, click on the riflemen, select them, and make them jump into the tank, and bam. Now you have a tank in the editor. And same thing as last time, all you have to do is get these tanks and troops to see each other, and they'll start fighting. Uh, let's add two of these. And let's give the blue guys, let's say, uh, yeah, let's give them one of these tanks. Um, but anyway, yeah. There you go. He's getting the tank and bam, now the blue guys have a tank. I might do a series of Army Men of War of myself. If uh, any, you know, you subscribers out there who actually watch my channel want to be like included, let me know, you know, send me a message uh, through the comments. And I'll read them. Hey, look, look at that. Now we have tanks fighting each other. Oh, that was a small, small, small fight. Oh, tank destroyed. Nope. Uh, the tanks will move on their own. Right now they're just shooting at each other. They don't really see any reason to be destroyed. But I think after they destroy each other. Oh, look, now they go. This T 34 is moving. They just ran over the guy. Mm. Oh, and it's down. That's it. That is uh, custom battles in a you know, really simple nutshell. But, uh,. Where it starts getting complicated is you want the soldiers to do specific things. Like, let's say you want them to go to a specific location or you want them to jump into a specific vehicle. You have to start using uh, the uh, in-game, basically, coding is what it is. Triggers, commands. Uh, it's pretty simple, though I only know so much, so I couldn't tell you everything. But, uh, for example... I'm just going to make a really small uh, command here and waypoints and stuff like that. Uh, I can make a separate tutorial on this later. I'm right now just going to real quick do this just as an example. But uh, I actually promote Mighty, uh, not Mighty, uh, Stealth or 123 Stealth Bomber. If you guys really want to learn about uh, the in game coding, there's a great way to do it because he does all that. Or he yeah, he did. But um, anyway, so I'm gonna name this uh, blue tank. So let's say I just want this blue tank to follow this waypoint, and you know it's gonna circle around if it doesn't get destroyed first. <laughs> so I'm gonna say uh, after the waypoint. Actually, I didn't give the tank a specific tag. Yeah, there's all sorts of things, you know, tags, waypoints. Like I said, I can go over uh, this in more in depth with another video. Put a first tank and go waypoint zero because that's the waypoint you want it to go. And I press force. And also, we're going to disable this tank's moving so it cannot basically move off on its own but with the AI, it will follow that waypoint and uh, shoot on its way. So uh, anyway, uh, I believe that should work now. Yep, there we go. Uh, that is if it wasn't disabled by that shot right now. Okay, no, it's go, it's still going. It was just stalled by that tank shot. But now it's going to follow that path until it gets to the end. And while it's doing it, it's gonna attack. So yeah, that's a like small preview of you know what you can do with the the coding. Go flank around, flank the side. 
There we go. Take out the other tank. We might actually be close enough to them to throw AT grenades. I don't know what they'll do it though. Ooh. I'm gonna shoot him one more time. Still not destroyed? What? Come on. And see, look. And it followed her all the way to the end. I'm surprised that tank isn't destroyed. Tanks are typically weak from the back. It's penetrating this armor. But anyway. Uh, that's the video guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you guys want to make another one, uh, let me know the ideas. Also, again, this goes out to anyone you know who's actually subscribed to me. If you want to be part of like an Army Men of War series, basically, you know, you have your own faction, you command your own troops and armies and tank divisions, let me know. Uh, we'll talk about it. Uh, Alright. Bye.